All right, welcome to No Man's Sky. Yeah, I'm starting over. We're gonna do another permadeath run. They changed the game. They changed the game enough that I want to start over because I get to skip the tutorial quest. And I was unhappy with the last series because no, I, I know I wanted to go to the anomaly and I wanted to build bases and you know, it's just not my thing, man. It's just not my thing. So uh, Mr. Two is uh, hanging out in a different but decent system that does not have extreme storms. We're going to do a new game, and right when I say new game, look at this, we're kicked into the permadeath. Now, I could either leave it at permadeath, or I could do a fugitive challenge and go extreme. So basically, this is not a pure, if you will, Beeblebum or Jason Plays or whoever does the fugitive run. I'm not going on the maximum survival settings. I'm in Calypso, all right? So I'm already starting off on an extreme planet. I'm not playing on one of those wimpy normal planets. Challenging survival difficulty on an extreme planet means you have 30 seconds before you have to recharge. Scanner recharge, forget it. I want my scanner to recharge fast. That's silly to put it on challenging. Damage levels, absolutely challenging. Technology damage, challenging, even though me. Uh, fuel use is expensive. Crafting standard. Recipes, yep, yep, yep. Expense purchases are expensive. Goods availability are scarce. Inventory stack limits. I don't want to play an inventory management game. We're going to keep them unrestricted. I'm not going to go to harsh. Enemy strength challenging. Uh, hostile, hostile. Predators on. One of these I had to move over. And uh, there we go. And we're going to lock it. And uh, here we go. So, as we get the No Man's Sky, whoosh. What are the rules? I can't visit any building that has alien life forms in it. Period. As a matter of fact, I can't visit any building. I can visit Sentinel buildings because those are already the bad guys. And I can talk to landed ships. But I cannot even go into outlaw space stations. Because I feel like that they're not totally secure. That's a little harsher than the regular fugitive run. There are storms here. Well, that stinks. Well, let's see if I can deal with it. I did a test run, and of course I didn't run into a storm. But the fact that there are storms here, look at all that cobalt. The fact that there are storms here worries me. But anyway, what we're going to do, see how see how slow the uh, hazard protection is going down? That's the thing when you first start out, for some reason in this version of the game. There's a lot of plants here too. This is a pretty good planet as long as the storms aren't too frequent. But uh, until I fix the scanner, that'll go down slowly. As soon as I fix it, then we have 30 seconds between recharges. So I'm going to take advantage of the casual mode as long as I can to build my supplies up. So what's interesting about the never going into any buildings or talking to any aliens except the landed ones is that there's a couple of recipes that are going to be really hard to get. For one thing, you got to find a crash ship, so that's one. But uh, the advanced mining laser, where are you going to get that? And uh, that means there are certain things that I can't mine, which makes life a little bit harder. But I would try to find a multi-tool. And the way I'm going to try to find a multi-tool is basically by uh, trying to do sentinel stuff. Because you can get multi-tools from sentinels. Yeah, I'm going to have to run over to a cave. Right after this, I'm going to run to a cave. Right after this. Because I don't want to die after all this mining. Alright. Remember where that cave was? Mistakes might have been made. Where did? Where was the cave? It's over here. Ouch. Alright. Here's the cave over here. Right in here. That's okay. That's okay. In here. We're fine. Except it took damage. Wow. Okay. That's okay. It took damage. I need 50 ferrite dust to repair it. It's repaired. And it's charging back up. I didn't get any dihydrogen jelly, so I can't make the train manipulator. So I'm still not done. I'm still not done with the prep. But... I can put in an analysis visor. Not there. So there's the storm. Well, this is convenient. Because while there's a storm going on, I'm going to be underground mining cobalt. And the secondary element is silver. Well, now, do I have enough to repair the scanner? 
I do. So let's repair the scanner. We can scan. Alright, now, if I run out in a storm now, I get... Do I even get 30 seconds? Wait for it. Wait for it. We out yet? There we go. 13 seconds. <laughs> 13 seconds in an extreme storm. Holy cow. Get back in. All right. I'm continuing to... Oh, pure ferrite. Oh, but there is some ferrite dust here. Yay. Good cave. Really? No stalactites? Yeah, there are. There's stalactites. What is, what is your secondary? Dihydrogen. Cobalt and dihydrogen. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to be scanning while the storm's going on. And, uh, yeah. Just take advantage of the storm. All right, look at that, Th over 300 cobalt. 372 cobalt, a little bit of the uh, ionized cobalt. How many batteries now? All right, let's get down 107 ferrite, 29 batteries. That's good enough to get started. Let's get some, uh, I put my uh, beacon out here so I wouldn't get lost. Let's uh, get some ferrite while we're out here. That's not ferrite. Yep. So normally, when we're out here, right, I get 30 seconds. 30 seconds between battery top-offs. And uh, on extreme planets. Which isn't a lot of time. And really, what you want to do is you don't want to let it get down to zero because it's going to eat up two batteries. So when it gets down to about just a little bit further, like right there, it's going to hit the mining beam first there, one battery. Okay. I'm going to screw that up numerous times and end up using two batteries. Which way do we want to go? The ship is in this direction. So we go south. Towards the... The sun setting in the... I guess the sun setting in the... If I'm heading south, the sun's setting in the west. That's amazing. Is it like that on every planet? No man's sky, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Here's the, here's the storm. So let me get some of this. Let me get some carbon while I'm up here. So here's what we do. Uh, there you go. We dig a hole. What was that damaged machinery? Gah. So now we're underground, right? And uh, I was supposed to be heading south. And in the south direction, this damaged machinery was right over here. So this is what it looks like if there's too many storms. This is the gameplay right here. Look at this. <laughs> It's, it's my, hey, I like Minecraft. All right. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty extreme looking, don't you think? I can run up to the damaged machinery. I can go underneath. I can go underneath. And then dig up to it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's right above my head. All right, I'm up here. <laughs> hey, give me something. Radiation shield right off the bat. Nope. Nope, you're just another forgotten damaged machinery. You could have been a star. But instead, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, we're heading south. Is there anything interesting in the radar range? I don't see much. I don't see much of anything. There's damaged machinery over here at 92. Let's go get that. Up we go. What do we got? You, with the radiation shield. Come on. Nope. Alright. Yeah, if you could find a cave, we can refresh, but to find a cave, there we go. Storm's clearing, but to find a cave, you need to look for, you know, the cavey bits. Or fall down into one. Hello? Hello? I'm in a cave. So I found a cave, but right when the storm ends. Man, that's cool looking. How cool looking is this? Okay, as long as I don't, my new roll, as long as I don't get below 50. 30 batteries. Good. Well, let's just do drive-by. One, two, three, bingo. Um, yeah, I need a, uh, I need a cave. Look at that. that that's got to be a cave, right? Beautiful. Superstorm, Superstorm's heading this way. And here's a cave. And I'm going to need ferrite dust. Bad. Should have been collecting it. Should have been collecting ferrite dust. I don't want to recharge again. Wow. 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 Am I in a cave? 
Am I in a cave? This is a big cave, or am I out in a storm? We lived on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of the black seas of the infinite, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. All right, same as before, everything on the right except for scanner recharge, which stays at standard. Inventory stack limits, which stay at stays at restricted instead of harsh. First time. It's almost like we've been here before. Deja vu all over again. I think this is a different cave system, though. All right, fine. Well, just like last time, I'm going to take advantage of uh, the early slow scanner drop. And I'm going to collect my supplies, not the salt. That's all salt? Yeah, not the salt. We're going to collect the ferrite dust and the carbon. And I'm going to try to get some dihydrogen this time as well. All right, I don't know if I've got enough collected or not, but uh, I was able to get some dihydrogen down here. We have a storm incoming, so now it's time to run back up the hill and into the starter cave and uh, try not to take any damage. And uh, I might have made enough to do a terrain manipulator. Let's get in here. All right, so uh, the important thing here is, uh, uh, is that enough dihydrogen for one dihydrogen jelly it is? And then how many carbon nan nanotubes? Just two. All right. We'll only make the analysis visor then. But we'll go ahead and start to install the terrain manipulator. And uh, we just need two more carbon nanotubes. And I can repair the scanner now. So now when we go out, we'll get burned. Okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and analyze the cobalt. I bet you the secondary on this is silver. All right, the storm's clearing. Pretty cool looking storm from in here. Rush might. I've been able to hit up some ferrite from uh, out the door here. We'll uh, give a few seconds for the storm to clear. Get just a little bit more cobalt and then we'll be out there in the open. And uh, once again, let's see, is the ship in the same direction? I guess that's going to tell the story, right? 139 ferrite will go down to 99. I wish I had some more. That's 22 batteries. So the ship is, uh, the ship is actually to the south this time. So we're going north. So we did start at a different spot. How about that? And now we're down to the 30 seconds. And I need to cre uh, collect ferrite dust. And uh, we need to hit up uh, all the things. All the things. What shows up on the radar range? I've got 12 seconds left. Nothing. Look at that horrible big cave down there. Mining beam. Oh, nope. Not enough time. One battery, please. Thank you. Yeah, look at these huge caves, but we know now what happens when you try to dive into a big cave like that. It's not good. Did I know that before? Probably. Right? I probably have no excuse for dying. Never never any excuse for dying. I, I was casual. I was so casual about it. You're in permadeath. When your health gets hurt, panic. It's a perfect time to panic. Oh, oh overheated up. I turned it off and little sodium didn't save me from using two batteries. You only got 30 seconds, man. You only got 30 seconds. I need ferrite. Got to be some ferrite dust over here somewhere. There's some. I'll scan when I'm a little more comfortable scanning. This will allow me to repair my things. I'm not getting anything. They're so small. They're fast, but small. There's damaged machinery over here. One battery. Nice. How about you are going to give me everything that I need? Yep. Radiation protection module. <gasps> That's not it. That's not it. But I can tear this up at some point if I don't watch. want it. What does this give me? Uh, 26 and 70. Cool story. I kind of liked heading south better. South seems warmer. Oh, two batteries. No. No, yes. Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, it's all wrong. Boy, you gotta get faster at that. What is this? Oh, dihydrogen. Nice. I need to make uh, two carbon nanotubes. 
Mm hmm Two carbon nanotubes. So why don't you just stop and mine stuff in the middle of a field? This will go well for you. Alright, there's a the little guy. Uh, I thought it was a storm starting, but I don't think so. Did a ship landing? No. There we go. One, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and use one battery. Why not? Get up to 100%. And uh, that was just three ships going by. Get some more carbon. I don't have a train manipulator yet, so I should be kind of... Be kind of concentrating on... On getting the, the plants. To get the train manipulator, don't you, you know what I'm saying? Yep. One battery. That was quick. Are you... Why aren't you shooting that plant? Okay, there we go. I just need two carbon nanotubes. My life will be a lot better. Give me two. Yes, we should be able to make two. Multi-tool. There we go. We have the train manipulator, everybody. I don't want it active at the moment. I want the mining beam active, and we want to get some more carbon. And let's recharge the mining beam to see how much carbon I have successfully collected. Not much. I did, uh, while I was out scouting out initial supplies, I, uh, there was some condensed carbon nearby. So that's my emergency backup for the mining beam. It's amazing how much, uh, look at that sun down at the horizon again. I guess it's gonna be night again? No, it's morning. That's cool. We're heading north. Anything on the radar range? Buried cash. Don't mind if I do. You never know, uh, that was two batteries. You never know what that's going to give, give you. But uh, we're going to get a radiation shield here, and it's going to change the timber. Mm -hmm. Timber! No. Of the game. Or it's not, because uh, I can't get anything. And there's a glowy thing here. What's the glowy thing? Is that just a plant? I don't think I need the hydrogen. I might need to make some uh, life support gel, so you never know when you need... Whoa, that dropped fast! Extreme storm! I didn't hear her say anything. Wow. Wow. Okay. So we're looking for the cavey bits. So right here, subterranean relic at 159. That should be a cave. So if I go this way, I should find a cave. We'll recharge. And then during the storm, I will, uh, you know, uh, get some more cobalt. All right, storm's clearing. What have I, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, 123 ferrite. Um, we're gonna need some more of that. I can get up to... 30 batteries and only 3 ferrite dust left. I gotta get some ferrite dust if I, I can't afford to damage anything. The building we were heading to is in this direction. And I wanna get back to the surface. There's the surface. Alright. All right, hey, look. Good stuff. Condensed carbon is good stuff. But I need ferrite, too. So let's, uh, there's a field of, uh, well, it's not exactly a field. I don't need carbon, I need ferrite. Ferrite dust. Go ahead and scan this. 15, 14 seconds left. Ferrite dust and dihydrogen is a good combination, yep. And we'll recharge right here. I think that was two batteries. That's unfortunate. More ferrite dust. 50 fer ferrite dust is the bare minimum to repair technology. And uh, I now have 44. Wow. It's slow. Slow, 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 slow. Come on. Yep. Well, I mean, you know, she's going to say that a lot. And, uh, if I could get some sodium. There. I did a pretty good job. And, uh, let's see. If this building plays the music, it's not something that we want. If it doesn't play the music, it might be a crash ship. Finding a crash ship this early would be rare. I have died once, though. So, there's the music. Well, you know. Out of curiosity, let's see what it is. 
Oh, for crying out loud. I'm not even paying attention. Two batteries. I was going to identify this. Carbon, condensed carbon. That's good. I do want to identify a lot of these plants. Could have identified them all very beginning of the game, but... This is just a big old pile of carbon. One would hope! Hit a milestone. I'm undaunted. Well... I was last time, too. It didn't end well for me. That was not the... Holy cow. Two batteries. Thanks to the mining beam being first. I don't understand why hazard protection isn't always first. Because not having anything in the mining beam is not going to kill you. But not having something in hazard protection will most certainly kill you. Right. Anyway, we'll, we'll get next to this building and then we'll head to due north. Oh, it's a phone booth. Okay, technically there's not anybody there, but a phone booth, of course, is going to be bugged. No. No. I refuse. I don't care. It's a principle of the thing. Alright, we are going to head... Uh, and I missed the buried cache because... Reasons... And let's head for buried tech. Where's that? Where's north? North is this way? It's that way. I'm actually not going to head there. I'm going to head to this damaged machinery. I have... Oh, it just switched to two. Alright, let's pick up some sodium. Yeah, I have uh, a little over 20 batteries left. Or maybe right now I have 20 batteries left. Either way, it's okay. Because... First off, we're going to pick up this. And not get low enough to protect ourselves. And uh, that appears to be... Just two salvage data. Could have been three. It's not in the storm, is it? Here we go. Nothing. Shocked. Shocking. Got it. You just get the rhythm. You just gotta get in the rhythm, man. It's gotta be fast, but you gotta get in the rhythm. I don't even have the mining beam available. And what I need is ferrite dust, and I'm mining not, not ferrite dust. Do I see any? There's some ferrite dust right there. Alright, just point to the ground and shoot and see if we can find any ferrite dust. Here we go again. Yeah, this this rate of... Uh, oh, I already almost got that. And it remembered I already almost got that. And then I need some oxygen pellets. There's a lot of... BAM! <laughs> There's a lot of blow-up plants here. Just give me your oxygen, please. Thank you. And uh, I was trying to do the over-the-shoulder shot, but it didn't work. I'm going to have to hit up the batteries right now. Uh, good, we used uh, sodium. Excellent. So I was going to say, that said two batteries, but it used sodium instead. Uh, buried tech. Nope, we're heading north. North. North this time. South was last time. We don't like to talk about last time. That's not fair, you know. And there's another building nearby. Cool. I do see this building over there that made the sound. So, let's go in this direction. Wow, so much flat land. Look at this. This is nice. Like we're up on a plateau. That's pretty cool looking. Hey, little guy. And uh, there's more of these caves. Alright. And uh, there is some... So here's the thing. Let's get down here so I can think. Right, we're down here, but it's not refreshing. I have uh, five of these. I need to turn them into nanites. Uh, let's make some metal plating. So now I have 92 ferrite dust, but uh, another thing that I want to do when we get... when we have to go underground... Mm-hmm. Is, uh... Wait a minute, get you. Well... I just got here! Shoot you dead. I'm not even gonna get the things. I'm gonna totally get the things. There. Looks like I got the thing even when I was blasted. Damage machinery, radiation protection module, please. Come on. No. And then what is this building? Radiation See, it's a store. I can't use a store. I understand that there's no, there's no uh, aliens there, but uh, I, I also understand that I didn't describe the challenge very well. But I can't go to that. The store is bugged. They're gonna catch me. I'm a fugitive. 
I can't do anything that would reveal my location. I can't even make a I can't even make a base, period. No bases. Should probably be looking for crashed ships though if you ever want to get off the planet. Just a little reminder. Ten, nine, eight, seven, single battery. Thank you. Probably should also be getting stuff out of here too. I think I'm at max health. But, uh, you know, opening these up, it gives you a breather. Now I'm back in the elements. Condensed carbon, okay. Ah, microprocessor, cool. Heading north. Anything? Nope. I still want to get a buried cache. Nothing. Sure, we'll use that and then I'll top it off with the battery. Nine batteries left. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go underground, man. Yeah, this is a cave. Well, it's not a cave. Unknown building three three forty eight. There are some subterranean relics close. Yeah, I gotta do some digging. I gotta get some batteries, even though there's not a storm going on. I doubt there'll be a storm soon. Alright, I've... See, I called it. Look at that. And now I'm inside this big cave. And I, I have to rebind... <laughs> I have to rebind the, uh, the, the toggle camera view to two, so I go first person inside a cave. And then uh, I also like to uh, bind the camera photo mode to the zero key, just in case. All right, storm's clearing. Hey, there's some ferrite in this cave. And I think this is outside straight ahead. I think it is. It looks like it's outside. But uh, here's some more ferrite. Yeah, a little bit of ferrite. We've got a, a decent number of batteries now. No, we don't. We don't have a decent number of batteries to me is 60. 60 is a decent number. Again, we're going back to the multi-tool. We have, um... 42 batteries and no ferrite. And I made this so that I can put down... Let's go ahead and put down the portable refiner. And then pick it up. No, this is still inside the cave. Wow. And uh, here's some more condensed carbon. Yeah, but... The, so we're underground. Yeah, tell me about it. This is how I died. So let's back off. Yeah, it's just a little too tall. Could've used a few pounds. And there's bugs down here. We'll get them scanned. Spooky bugs. Like giant cockroaches or something. Look at those things. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, we're going up. We're going up because we're wasting the good weather. Look at this place, would you? Oh, there's a bad plant right there. Skip on by. Whoa! Look at this place. Train manipulator. Exit! You gotta love the train manipulator, man. And we're out. And we're heading north. We're back to third person. And I'm gonna replenish this. Got plenty of oxygen. Good, yes. And do I see anything in the old radar range? Cargo drop. Unknown building. We'll head that way. You never know. We probably know. I am battery. Hey, guess what I'm supposed to be mining? I'm supposed to be mining ferrite. I need to get back up to 100 ferrite. Or else you, you, you're dead. You're dead. You damage the technology because you do something stupid. You basically witnessed what happens. I, I, and I had plenty of ferrite that, that time, but I couldn't overcome the stupid. Oh, there's a bad plant right there. Yeah, heck with you. There's damaged machinery over here, and then we'll see what's in the hole over there. But I expect... Oh. Uh, two batteries. I expect that that's going to be uh, something we don't care about. But Whoa! That was a big hole in the ground. All right. Ferrite dust? How much ferrite do I have? Am I gonna go to the... Nope, we're going to there. I have 49 ferrite dust. Just get a little bit more. 
Yep. And then get this damage machinery, and then we'll check out the building. And then we'll recharge. One battery is always better than two. So just do it early, man. Just get over it. Get over the fear of uh, wasting batteries because you're wasting batteries when you use two. I really want this ferrite dust. I know I'm just standing here shooting in it, but I'm, I'm having a real hard time. There's plenty of them. There, I got one in the distance. So as I slowly approach, slowly approach it. There we go. And let's pick up this sodium. Use it up. Point in the air. Damage machinery, radiation protection, please. I need it because I'm incompetent. Please. No. You don't even care. It doesn't care about me. That's what it is. Man. There's a single battery. All right. What's the building? Oh, it's one of these. Okay, no, fine. I can go to these. We'll see what happens here. This is not the same, though. This is not the same. And I don't think this gives out anything good. I think this just teaches me a word, right? The imprint of the ancient civilization. The noble travelers will be spared. Her commands that seek help with the language, seek knowledge of the past. This will just, yep. Yeah, these are no good. I learned the Viking word for Viking, which confirms we are in a Viking system. Which I, I knew, but, uh... Oh, uh, uh, no. Get in here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Go down to one. Put it in. Thank you very much. We're looking for a crash ship, man. And uh, jettison pod, cargo drop. Bummer. Fine, I'll scan the big pointy thing. And I'll scan a scooty bug. More deja vu. And uh, I'll do... Uh, I just used two batteries. One of maroon. Alright, here we go. Could use that sodium. But, uh, whoa, look at this landscape straight ahead. That is pretty scary looking. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't want a point. There. One battery. Uh, wait. Did an extreme storm start? It did. Again, did I just miss it? Whoa, I'm still outside. I'm still outside. No fuel available. What are you doing? Good grief. Jeepers. Remember what I said about the ferret dust. Okay, I should have enough. Whew. And then uh, you need to be recharged with uh, one battery. Because we're not in a cave. Wow, that was scary. Hey. Some condensed carbon out there. This will help with the mining beam if I need it. So we're in a storm again. Mercy. Wow, just think how relaxing the gameplay is going to be once I, uh, once I recover. So, are there any KV bits near here? I don't see any. There's the an unknown building in that direction. And that's where I came from. Well, we're just going to be, um... We're just going to be digging underground. And I might fall into a cave. You never know. But I have to stay underground. That was... That was something. I am kind of heading towards this building. I am. And there's a buried cache at 265. Well, yeah. Might as well have a target. So that building's not going to be something that interests me because it played the song, so that's good to know. So we're headed towards the buried cache. This is the kind of Calypso gameplay I was talking about. How can the buried cache be up? Oh, it's across the other hill. This is what I was talking about. So there's a there's a divot there, right? So if I if I bring this to the biggest point, we're on the edge of a hillside. We should be, and uh, or we're in one of those caves that doesn't count as a cave. 
I think it does. I think we are, is what I meant to say. Yeah, so I need to run across. So that's the smallest, so we need to do this size. Nope, extreme storm. I was gonna say, it's not doing it. But there it is. Get inside, dude. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Man. Yeah, this planet, this planet with its, uh, faux caves, fox, fox caves, I tell you. And, uh, it's too bad because, uh, it would have been nice if there was, uh, cavey bits there, but I guess not. I want this buried cache. Storm's clearing. These storms are short enough that I can tolerate it. By the way, where am I at? Am I at one battery? I have used all my ferrite dust to recharge the... Be very careful with that. One battery. Okay. So here's the thing. I used up all my ferrite dust. I can use the pure ferrite. I can use the silicate powder, but... There's multiple stacks. There we go. Now I need ferrite dust bed to do the repair. But there's no extreme storm going on, so it's not as insane as it was before... Destination Reach, where is it? There it is. Look. What do we got? Nanites. Hey. Nanites. And what do I have? Five of these? Okay. We're gonna bust out. Whoa. Outside. North. Okay. It's a beautiful day outside. Now what do I what did I need out here? I already forgot. Ferrite dust, dude. Ferrite dust and a lot of it. We really need to to crank up the ferrite dust. And I need to get enough ferrite dust so I can make more batteries. Because uh, I only have 87 so far. Yeah, I really need more to make more batteries. But that's okay. Next storm. I'm supposed to be heading north, right? There are actual cavey bits down there, so I could go down there and mine for a while. And we're in Sentinel territory. All right, and uh, this is not the exosuit. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take my anger out on you. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Shield recharge, salvage glass. Salvage glass is good. Where's the other dude? Let's recharge. Not the mining beam. Let's recharge the radiation protection. You looking for me, dude? These first couple of... No, you're not. These first couple of sentinels are the easiest to get. Because... They don't, uh, after these first two, then they start sending the heavier units and you really need something more than, uh, a mining beam to get them. Come on. Oh, do you fire at me? Good. Radiation protection. We got the mining beam, everybody. We're pointing in the, in the sky. I want to go ahead and use a battery. Alright. Reinforcements are arriving. We're going to go ahead and skip out on them. Excuse me. Pardon me, coming through. And then we'll see if that glass gave us anything good. Kind of sorted down it. Now, if I just stopped at the first sentinel, it would only be like eight second countdown. As it stands, it's a little bit longer than that. But uh, they won't be able to find me, most likely. Let me get to hear some nice music. Dramatic music, I should say. And there they go. Sentinel Force deactivated. So I want to get down here where it's not dropping. So I can look and see what we got. Alright, what do we get? First off, down to 20 batteries. Complete and total crap. Oh, you might need that someday. Yeah, I might need my inventory too. What, what was the other thing that I got? Nanites. 11 nanites. Yeah. It hates me. Alright, that's not a cave. 
Oh, look at that ship. That's cool looking. Right, we're heading north. Anything on the radar range? There's a building straight ahead. I want the building, please. There we go. And apparently I picked up sodium. That was the first circle. And here we go, a storm. Okay, let's, uh, it's time to dig underground. Again, I had the right beam selected. And I'm gonna find a cave, and I think there was a cave near here. And, uh, we'll, I'll catch up on the, let's see, do I, do I have any ferrite dust left? 89 ferrite dust, man. That's bad. This cave is cool. It's not storming anymore, and I'm in here mining stuff, because I found a good number, a good amount of ferrite, and there's these little guys. These little jumping dudes, and it's so quiet, it's like there's no music. And when I say it's like there's no music, that means there is no music. So now the storm started, and you can hear the storm outside. But if you're uh, underground, and you're low on carbon, and uh, you've made your portable refiner, and you hit, wow, bright light, and you can, uh, you can turn. Now I have to use all my condensed carbon for fuel. But I have t a ton of oxygen. So you can turn oxygen into carbon at one to one. Now, you know, I was always curious, and I don't think I ever tried this. I filled this up with condensed carbon. If I tear it up, I get regular carbon. So there is a quick way to turn your condensed carbon into regular carbon, is just fill up the refiner with condensed carbon, and boom, when it comes back out, you get regular carbon. Not that you would ever want to do that. I kind of think condensed carbon works better for storage. All right, 54 ferrite. I need more. Uh, but I have 74 batteries. I'm happy with 74 batteries. I feel like I'm caught up. There's no storm going on outside at the moment, but one will probably be starting up soon enough. That was a cool cave, and that was way, 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 way down there. But uh, I, I was, I approve of that cave. Daylight, finally. Jeepers. I don't think there's an extreme storm going on. There's not. How about that? Cool. Let's get a quick start. Whee. Anything up here? Wow. I was, I was way out there. I need to hit up more damage machinery. I need to hit up more uh, buried tech. There's two damage machinery here. Because it's the only way that I'm going to get... It's the only way I'm gonna get uh, nanites, just in case. Because if a crash ship lands, I uh, ground down five into like I don't know, 86 nanites. I have 340 nanites, which is not really enough to buy anything. I put the cost up to extreme so that oh, and here's the supercell. Shoot. Radiation shield, come on. Not so much. We're gonna hit this one. Oh. There's an extreme storm going on, so we're gonna dig a hole underneath this. There we go. And we're gonna hit up this damaged machinery, and this is gonna give me a shield. I know it is. Come on. Shield. Not so much. Alright, well, with the uh, with autosave active, uh, I'll just save here. And uh, when we come back, the hunt for a ship continues. In the meantime, here I am in uh, the Minecraft of uh, Calypso, right? Uh, stuck underground. Wow. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be it for this time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.